Welcome to the 2017 JC Steel Target Challenge. We're here on the beautiful range of Blue Ridge Ranch located in Benj, Washington for the third match in the National Rifle League's inaugural season. Match directors Jake Vibbert and Nick Kadarzi have designed a once-in-a-lifetime match that will prove to be both physically and mentally demanding. Today over 100 competitors will be required to navigate through barricades in the natural terrain and engage targets up to 1,400 yards away. Let's head straight into the action from day one of the 2017 JC Steel Target Challenge. Assassination. With a round count of 10 and a two minute time limit, shooter will engage one shot at the driver, then the right guard, then the rear guard, then the left guard, and finally the passenger. Shooter will then transition to the trailer hitch of the truck and repeat the shooting order. Hey guys, we are here at the 2017 JC Steel Target Challenge. I'm here with Mr. Sam Nelson. Sam, how are you, sir? Outstanding. Perfect. So, walk us through this class. What's the We've got a vehicle with five targets in it. You've got a driver, a door guard on the driver's side, a guard at the rear, a guard on the passenger side, and then the passenger. You fire the you're going to shoot from the driver to the guard next to the driver, to the guard at the back, the guard at the opposite door, the passenger door. Five rounds from the back of the truck. You jump down, fire five rounds off the hitch of the truck. It's a pretty cleanable stage. It's a little bit shifty, but we're just having a good time out here at JC Steel. You shot several different courses of fire today. What has been the most challenging course of fire for you so far? We have a stage out there with three pigs. It's a really time pressed stage. Everybody's timing out. Nobody hit more than four. You never and know when you're in the. The average pigs. person's hitting two or three. Yeah, over there. A lot of wind out here. We're still on day one here. What is your game plan moving forward? My game plan moving forward is to hit more targets. <laughs> Keep it simple. That's all you got to do. Clean, crisp trigger pulls. Yeah. All of that wind as best you can. Building solid positions. Game plan for the helicopter. You're going to let them all loose or you're going to try to uh, pick those shots? I'm going to hit the first target hard. Figure out what the, what the lead is on the first target because you have to reverse lead. I'm going to figure out what, what that is and then I'm going to place accurate fire on the rest of the targets. Awesome. Well, we wish you the best of luck, sir. Before we see you shoot some more. Outstanding. Have a great time. Thank you. Thank you. I'm here at Mr. Brady Lamb. Brady, how are you, sir? Good. How about yourself? Very good. Thank you. So, tell us how your day has been going for you so far. My day has been going really well. I've been shooting good, tough wind calls, but I've been uh, fortunate to get some good calls. So it's been really well. A lot of people have always asked, you know, they, they love watching these videos, but they always ask, what type of gear are people shooting? So, can you explain to us what your rifle is, what you have on here, what's going on? Yeah, um, I'm running a custom 700 action. In the uh, XOR carbon chassis, love the chassis. Uh, I'm running some Resor bags. This clutch bag, most underrated bag out there right now. Uh, I'm also running some uh, dope card holders I got here. Um, out on your rifle, you don't have to stick anything to it. Nice flexible arm, breakage, and uh, card comes off. Waterproof grease pen, and uh, they're working awesome. 
Phillips has done a great job on these optics. I'm even running their own GBD2 mill dot. Okay. And uh, obviously it's working well for me. Okay, what caliber are you shooting? I'm just shooting 6 by 3 Okay, so it's probably one of the most popular uh, popular cartridges right now. A lot of manufacturers coming out with ammo for that. So are you reloading your ammo or are you trying it off the shelf? Uh, I'm reloading my ammo, trying to get that last little bit of performance out of it. Get it running a little bit faster. This uh, this is a black hole weaponry barrel. Um, fantastic barrels, and I'm because of it, I'm getting a lot more speed than a lot of guys, and uh, it's really helping out here in this wind today. Well, we appreciate your time. It's a pleasure watching you shoot. Yeah. And we uh, look forward to seeing you shoot some more today, tomorrow. Definitely. Thank you. Thank you. Hey guys, we're here at the assassination stage with John Martel. John, how are you, sir? I'm doing it. Terrific, thank you. So, how did the stage go for you? Uh, not too well. What was going on? Talk to us. Tell me what happened. Besides the wind, hurry. Sorry, you know, jump over the target a little bit. Not hard to see that first target. Shooter to the national uh, national level of shooting, right? First national. This is your very first national. So, what is the difference between your first national and your club level matches? Uh, a little bit different is you don't you don't have the help while you're shooting. Like when you're shooting, you can get a lot of coaching. You kind of get the learning. Hey, you're you know uh, you're not the right spot, or hey, try moving your leg, try to get in a better position, get better support. Here, you're kind of on your own. You, kind of, right. you can't be coached while you're shooting. Um, after the fact, you get it, but it still is quite a bit different than having it when you're after the shooting. Well, it definitely makes a difference. I mean, you know, um, a lot of the club level stuff is there for the support to help you develop to get to the stage. And then when you have that confidence and your friends keep pushing you, okay, let's go national, let's go national, it's time to step up. Yeah. But you have actually belong to a great club. I do, yes. Uh, uh, Precision Rifle Shooters Fly to Home, we are uh, big group of guys, big group of guys. Big group of guys. Yeah, yeah. So a lot of great talent out there. A lot of you guys, you guys held our first ever NRL match. Yeah. Drop the shamrock shootout. The shamrock yeah. shootout. We look forward to do that again for you guys next year. Awesome. Next year, are you going to shoot the shamrock? Are you going to No, RO? I think I'll RO because, uh, you know, the local guys want to take care of the guys coming in and come down. We don't want to take a spot from somebody else. They can right. come in and shoot. So we'll kind of do that. We'll take our turn. And, you know, expect, kind of expect that from the other group too. Absolutely. So, this being your first national match, you pick Jason Seals Hardy Challenge yep. in Washington. Yep. Beautiful landscape. Oh, that's awesome. Great courses of fire. Sure. What are you going to do about the helicopter? Oh, There's dude. no training for that. Dude. There's no training. I have just got to, it's going to be so much fun. I mean, the adrenaline's almost always kicking. We're still two stages away and I'm already kind of <laughs> giddy, you know what I'm saying? Oh, it's going to be fun. 
<laughs> Absolutely. So, game plan, you just going to go in there and let them rip, or are you going to no, try I, to pick your shots? I, no, I think they're going to take a shot. So, you know, there's a reverse lead on these, because you're going to be kind of moving. Instead of, like, like the target moving, you're moving. So you kind of do a reverse lead on that. That's so you kind of have to figure out, you know, you take that first shot, try to spot that impact, and then see if your lead is good or if you need to adjust that. It's just like shooting, like, for wind call. Right. Just make that adjustment. But you got to do it quicker. 20 miles an hour is pretty fast. Terrific. Now, what would you tell anybody who's watching who's shot at the club level who's contemplating moving up to a national level? It, just go sign up and go. you got to just do it. You're going to get uh, information here. You're going to get some shooters that you don't need to interact with. You're going to learn as much here as you do at the club match. Sometimes you Three little pigs. With a round count of 12 and a two minute time limit, the shooter will start from the right window and engage each target from left to right with one shot each. Shooter will then move to the rooftop and engage the targets from left to right, then switch to their weak side and engage, then finally move to the tire and engage the targets one more time. Hey guys, we are here at the 2017 JC Steel Target Challenge. I'm here with Austin Orgain. Austin, how are you, sir? Good. How are you? Very good, thank you. So you just completed the three little piggy stage and you came off with so far what's been a day record of eight impacts. Yep. yep. How was it for you? That was tough. Um, running the tripod there really helped a lot. But that wind really you know, I went ahead and dialed my wind and just kind of winged it and it worked out. So you're shooting at roughly 790 yards, somewhere right around there, yep. with three different targets. Yep. What were you holding for wind out here? A uh, mil and a half. A mil and a half. 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 So straight up on the and what caliber are you shooting? Uh, six grade more. So that's quite a bit of wind out here. Yeah, absolutely. I'm uh, running a 110 Sierra, so that I have a little bit of an advantage, but it, uh, that'd be about a 15 mile an hour wind at the 9 o'clock. Terrific. So your setup is J Allen chassis, yep. surgeon action, is that yep. correct? Yep. And the Night Force optics. Yep. And the setup's been phenomenal. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, this is actually the second match I've ran the Jay Allen. Um, I ran a local match in Oklahoma. I was lucky enough to come away with the win on it. And so far, I'm loving it. You know, it rides the barricade awesome. It's very adaptable, really comfortable to get behind. So. Now, how has your match in general been for you? Um, not bad. I've shot some stages really well, some a little bit weaker, but overall, I think I'm shooting okay. And this is your first NRL match? Yes. Yep. Well, we truly appreciate you coming out here. Congratulations on setting the stage record so far for the day. Hopefully it holds up. That would be phenomenal. And uh, we wish you the best luck, sir. All right, thank you. All right, thank you. Good day.
Captain Phillips. With a round count of 10 and a 2 minute time limit, Shooter will move to the platform and engage the 350 yard target with 5 rounds. Shooter will then engage the 525 yard target with 5 rounds. Shooter is allowed to touch anything on the platform to stabilize, but cannot touch the ground or they will receive a stage disqualification. Hey guys, we are here at the 2017 Jason Steele Target Challenge. I'm here with Mr. Jeremy Bentham. Jeremy, how are you, sir? Good, Jarvis, how are you doing? Very good, thank you. So, welcome back to the sport. <laughs> thank you. It's been a, little, been a little bit, knocking a little rust yeah, off today. That's uh, true. How's the bad trip for you? It's rough. <laughs> it's rough, but it's rough for everyone. It's windy out here. We're dealing with 15 to 20 mile an hour winds, not consistent, gusting. So it's it's a humbling match, but everyone's in the same boat. So absolutely. Speaking of boats, you just finished the Captain Phillips stage. Yes. Speaking, speaking of boats. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, what was your game plan going into? It looks like you kind of changed it up right before you pulled the trigger. Yeah. Um, it was just getting the right height for the rifle. Um, getting the right height to basically accommodate for both the targets. You got the lower one, so you're fighting with the rear bag a little bit to get the rear of the gun up high enough, then you're shifting, so just fighting with the front bag a little bit, but one, one all right. Awesome. Now, you've also started a new career. I have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you got a lot going on. I got a lot. So tell us about your new, uh, your new career, what's going on with Nikon. Um, well, so Nikon, everyone knows Nikon, been around for 100 years, actually 100 year anniversary this year. Uh, they brought me on because they wanted to basically play in this field, so um, I come from this world, as everyone knows me from. Um, so we kind of changing the pace of Nikon. They want to build precision rifle skills, precision rifle products, you know, stuff for this one, two matches. So um, out here testing one of our brand new scopes, giving it a run. Um, so that's kind of the direction we're heading. So the next two years are going to be going to be interesting. It's pretty exciting. It is. It is. I mean, it's Nikon makes great glass. Uh, make, Nikon makes great products. They just haven't really focused on this market. So now that's kind of the game plan. That's terrific. So they've primarily been in the hunting market. Like yep. you said, uh, they've lost, obviously their cameras are, are bar none. Yep. Um, what made the choice to get into precision rifle? I mean, we all, we've all. Same reason you're here. <laughs> I mean, uh, we, we, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's a market that's growing a lot. Hunters, you know, I mean, they'll buy a scope, you'll use it for 20 years, put it on your hunting rifle. This one, people are buying a lot of scopes, a lot of products. Uh, so it's it's just a growing, I mean, the amount of dollars coming to this board are crazy. NRL popped up, you know, the PRS has been around, the whole three gun precision thing. I mean, there's just, there's a lot of buzz around it. Um, and it's it's just a good direction to head because it's precision stuff. We'll make good buzz. It's natural fit. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you guys for being out. Thank you. Hey guys, I'm here with Mr. Ron Shackle. Ron, how are you, sir? Uh, nice to see you, guys. Good to see you as well. Welcome oh, out. Wow. So, you just cleaned the Captain Phillips stage. I did. My first of the day. My oh. first clean of the day. <laughs> awesome. Congratulations, sir. So, what was your game plan going into it being that you're the first shooter of the squad? Being the first shooter of the squad is always a little more difficult because you don't have guys in front of you testing out uh, different positions. And um, I, I, I just found the best position, built the best position I could, um, and uh, tried to keep that uh, that mobile platform underneath me as still as possible. Yeah, well, that's part of the trick is that you have to have at least one foot on the platform. You decided to keep two on the platform, and you built. You kind of leaned into one of the back posts. I did. I did. I, I pushed the I pushed the platform basically forward. Um, into the front posts and uh, pushed my butt against the, uh, the the two by four that was behind me. Tried to build as, as stable a platform as I possibly could. The biggest challenge people have been saying that they've had out here is the wind. Oh, the wind is incredible. Uh, I was shooting a 20 mile an hour wind on this one, and um, it, it apparently worked. It on worked. This one. It so. worked. You were able to read those wounds correctly, get all your impacts on target. You did it with it plenty of time left over, and it was a very successful. It was. I'm. I'm pretty happy about that. One. Hopefully, hopefully, good things to come. Absolutely. So. <laughs> now, you have been a part of our law enforcement community for a long time now. I have. We have the helicopter stage still coming up. Yep. Have you ever shot out of a bird before? I have on a couple of occasions. Yes. Okay. So, do you have a game plan going into this? 
I don't know what we've got up here. I don't know what kind of targets we're shooting out of that bird. Um, I can't tell you. I haven't been there yet. I know. I haven't seen them. So, uh, um, you know what? My game plan out of that bird is just to have fun. There you go. Just to have fun. There you go. That's all you could ask for. Yep. Awesome. Yep. Well, it's been a pleasure, sir. It's good Thank seeing you. Thank you very much. Good to see you. Good seeing you. Thanks for coming out, Travis. Absolutely. Thank you. All right. In the Caracal helicopter stage, two shooters begin by entering the helicopter. The helicopter then flies at a speed of 15 knots with a distance of roughly 75 yards between each target. Once the helicopter lands, shooters are handed their respective rifles and transition to the following course of fire. Here they engage specific targets as instructed by the RO. From Utah, I uh, just got done shooting the chopper stage here at the JC Steel Target uh, Challenge. It's really fun, man. That uh, the first little bit, getting used to flying that helicopter, was a little wobbly with this wind, 10 to 15 mile an hour wind. So taking off was a little wobbly. It was actually pretty stable uh, flying across those targets, even though you're 7,500 yards. They're pretty small. Pretty fun. I enjoyed it. Pontius uh, from Boise, Idaho. Just shot the helicopter stage that Caracal uh, sponsored. Uh, super fun stage. Targets were a little bit harder than we expected. Not as much lag time. Managed to make a couple hits. Ultra fun. Great match. This concludes day one of the 2017 JC Steel Target Challenge. Competitors got to experience a precision rifle match like never before as they were tasked with shooting over multiple barricades, navigating through natural terrain, and firing from a moving helicopter. Stay tuned for next time for our coverage of day two and the awards ceremony and find out which three competitors took our top spots for the 2017 JC Steel Target Challenge.